the three distributions that we have looked at, nor, uh, the normal distribution, the binomial and the Poisson, have some interesting links between them. And it turns out that in certain circumstances we can use one instead of the other and it is much simpler to do the calculations. Let's first of all look at how we could use the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial. The Poisson approximation to the binomial. And this applies when the number of experiments in the binomial n is very large. So n is large but the probability of getting a success each time is very small. So p, chance of a success, is small. But we know that we can find the mean of a binomial simply by np. So the mean is np and this would come out as a reasonable size number. In that case we can use this mean in the Poisson to do the same calculation as we want to do in the binomial. So this becomes the lambda of the Poisson. So let's see how this might work in an example. Suppose we're looking at misprints in a book. Each page might have a thousand letters and maybe the chance of getting a misprint on each one is one five hundredth. Misprints are very rare. So e.g. there's a thousand letters on each page and the probability of a misprint is 1 in 500. So the mean lambda is n times p so that's a thousand times 1 over 500 which equals 2. In other words we would expect two misprints on each page but strictly it's a binomial calculation. We're doing a thousand experiments, each letter is either a misprint or it's correct. We're doing this a thousand times and each time the probability of a misprint is the same. So it's a binomial situation. So let's work out the probability of three misprints on a page. Well, The correct answer, the exact answer, is the chance of a misprint cubed because we want three of them. We want the other 997 letters to be correct and the chance for each one of them of being correct is 497, 499 over 500 and we want that to the power 997 and then we have to look at the number of ways in which these three misprints can occur throughout the thousand letters. And that's going to be given by the binomial coefficient a thousand factorial over three factorial times 997 factorial. And that is a very nasty calculation to do. Most calculators won't do a thousand factorial. Um, you'd have to do some uh, cancelling by hand to get the answer and then you've got these very complicated um, fractions to deal with to very high powers. It's not an easy sum to do but we can work it out and the answer is 0 0.1806. Let's instead go for the idea that this is a Poisson process with a mean of 2. So what we're now doing is thinking of each page of a thousand letters as being one observation and the average number of events of misprints is two. What's the probability of three? Using the Poisson, and this is going to be an approximation, so it's approximately equal to e to the minus lambda, that's e to the minus two, times lambda to the x, which is uh, 2 cubed, over x factorial. That's the Poisson formula. E to the minus lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial. And we can, me can immediately see how much simpler this is going to be. Most of it we can do in our heads. 2 cubed is 8, 
3 factorial is 6. We just need to look up the e to the minus 2. And if we work it out, we get 0 0.1804. So we can see that it's a very good approximation to the exact answer. The error is about 0.1 of a percent. But this is only valid when n is large and p is small, as we have in this particular uh, situation. But when that, when that uh, is true, when those conditions are satisfied, this is a much quicker way of calculating probabilities than using the exact binomial. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.